Hey guys, it's Bia. Ooh. <laughs> hey guys, it's Bia here, and today we're back with another video. And I am apologize in advance for this light, but uh, uh, your girl does not uh, afford um, stage lights. She does not afford studio lights. She uses the sun, okay? And that's a tip on how to save money. <laughs> As I was saying, so today I'm going to make a video on a topic that I want to discuss, and I'm going to start a series on. So this topic is sustainability and sustainability in fashion and the different ideas that we can explore uh, in that big um, topic because it, there's a lot that goes into it. So as we all know, the fashion industry has a lot of issues in terms of um, the waste that it produces, the carbon footprint that it, uh, that it has. I'm pretty sure it's like the second most polluting industry in the world. So there's a lot of things that designers must start to think about when designing in order to obviously uh, think about the future and protecting the planet. I will be discussing things like zero waste pattern cutting, dyeing processes, fabric sourcing, like so essentially sustainable fabric sourcing, not only to do with the labor that goes into that fabric, but also the components within the fabric and um, just different options that we should start to take in order to make a difference in this industry. So any of you, if you are fashion design students or if you're designers yourselves and you're interested in finding out more and getting ideas, just this is just to spark ideas and to get everyone to start making a change. So one of the things that I wanted to experiment with, which is what this video is going to be about, is dyeing fabric. Now, a lot of the dyeing processes do create a lot of water pollution. So I've been thinking, I watched a few videos on people dyeing using avocado skin and other things like cabbage and so on. And I watched a video on people dyeing with roses. So that gave me an idea to dye fabric with flowers. So in this video, we're going to be experimenting with fab uh, flower fabric dyeing. And um, uh, the results, I don't want to really show you guys what the results are yet. Some of them came out very nice and some of them didn't come out as nice. Obviously, this is an experiment and we can test with more different types of flowers. But um, we are going to see... One, I'm going to show you the process of how I did this. So I follow the process that other people have followed on YouTube when they're making their own uh, fabric dyes. Uh, second thing, we're going to experiment with different types of fabrics. So if I show you guys one that didn't come out very well, so one that basically didn't do anything. This, uh, so I experimented on basically a cotton, um, what would you call this, like a braid and other f pieces of fabric. So fabric that one either has polyester, oh! polyester, cotton, or a mix, so anything that is cotton but is stretchy, stretchy, it will have elastane inside of it. So that's why we're experimenting in this video with different types, different samples. So this one is also silk. This uh, is a very small sample and we're going to check whether it is going to absorb any of the color. Um, and then you have like just pure cotton fabric and so on. So. We're going to be experimenting and make sure to stick with the video to find out um, the results and to find out if you're interested in this method. Obviously, to make this into a larger scale production, you'd have to have a lot of flowers and there's different ways in which you can do this. But this is only for you guys and for myself to start thinking about more sustainable ways of producing um, fashion. Uh, I'm going to show you guys the process and I'm going to show you the flowers that I used. So let's get started with this video. Actually, before we get started, uh, don't forget you guys to subscribe to this channel because we're almost we're almost reaching a thousand subscribers and I'm so excited. We're currently like 880 something. So I'm very, 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 very excited that we are almost there. Please subscribe, support the channel. I will be making more videos to get help you guys out. If there's any questions, don't forget to leave them below and make sure you leave a like so that the YouTube algorithm pushes this video up to the stars. 
so yeah now we're gonna get started with this video all right guys so we have a mix of flowers today and this is roses and another type which is some sort of um daisy flower i don't really know their name but that's what you can see on the screen here uh they're called chrysanthemum flowers we're also using other flowers which are not in this picture which are going to be used in this video so we have tulips um and we also have lilies and these green leaves and the other green leaves and also these pink flowers and their purple version which is a uh, hyacinth um so the first step of this video is to basically remove all of the um, flower petals in a very very beautiful uh chaotic way uh thanks to my sister for picking those for me uh so you're gonna pick each one which is what i did and then you're going to just keep picking and picking and plucking and one eternity later and plucking and plucking and plucking <laughs> anyways yeah you're gonna pluck all of them and i put them all in different jars so that i can essentially oh <laughs> careful with that essentially separate them all and here is the picture of all of the flowers that i used and like the ratio and how many leaves i used sorry petals and first step you're going to need is the fabric this is the various different types of fabric that i'm going to be using in the video for testing purposes they have cotton we have mixes between cotton and polyester and so on you're gonna put some hot water on them and you're gonna let them soak with some salt then you're going to move on and put your flower petals in the pan make sure you turn up the heat and put some boiling water on them and let them boil for about 15 minutes and after those 15 minutes then you can check on them see if they're okay see if it's boiling if, if also make sure you watch over it because sometimes it just boils a bit too much as you can see the color already changed then afterwards you can put your fabric after about half an hour and after you leave it there for about 10 minutes still boiling with the fabric you put it on the thing like put it on a container and let it soak overnight i let it soak until the next morning as you can see guys we have here a sample this is a different one uh not the roses this is from one of the yellow flowers and look how bright that is that is amazing anyways so um as you guys can see i have put every single type of um leaf and whatever in different containers and then on the next morning i took them out and i put them on my table i was still wet they're still wet they haven't dried yet i just took them to compare the colors and as you guys can see they uh some of them turned out with barely any color and some of them had more color but this is before they dry so i and i also haven't washed it like with any water or, any, or anything so there might be pigments on there that have still not been absorbed and that will not be absorbed so it's very important for you guys to wash your fabric after you have done this experiment to ensure that whatever wasn't absorbed it's just going to come out so that if this was an actual piece of clothing if you're washing it with something else it's not going to bleed into other clothes and ruin your other clothes so yeah um as you guys can see uh basically you guys can experiment with other plants and other flowers and see what the results are all right guys so that was the process and as you guys could see i had my fabric samples and i showed you how it was drying up and so on i did leave it overnight which wasn't that long and i did not boil them that long either so the these things can also be experimented with to see if the uh fabric absorbs more of the color depending on how long you leave it in for and depending on how long you boil the flowers for so this is definitely something to experiment with in the future now uh something i want to touch upon is the fact that not everything turned out 100 percent. so we had flowers that were purple and they gave us nothing and then we had flowers that were yellow and they gave us everything so yeah uh let's get started so i have all of them in little bunches here as you guys can see the colors are very light but still has color and still has potential for greatness so uh first thing i want to touch upon is the roses now the roses i kind of already knew that they were going to give us color but i didn't know how much color it was going to give us this is the outside this is the ones that were red roses and this one was the one with the mixed you know how we had like the roses with the pink and the white so that's how it looks like from the outside this is cotton so 
you guys can see how much it absorbed it looked much more pink when it was in the solution form but i'm going to show you guys something very interesting on the roses that were just red the silk absorbed the color into like a gray color which is very interesting in my opinion and it can be used for uh like summer dresses and spring collections so that is very very nice in my opinion and everything else kind of had um their own individual colors i will leave a link in the description below of a page that is showing all of the different fabrics and um the results much more clearly so i'm going to display it for you guys right now so as you guys can see this is uh just much more clear and i just want to touch upon a few things that i really found interesting from this experiment so silk absorbed it much better than any other color in my opinion and the colors were much brighter and much nicer and gray interesting who knew that red flowers would give us gray uh all of the other fabrics kind of gave us some sort of mix of like a, obviously the ones that had stretch in it did not absorb as much color which was already expected as plastic will not absorb any of the um colors because it's not a natural it's not a natural fiber it's a man-made fiber so we i already expected it to go trash to be honest but for the sake of experimenting so that is the red roses and then i'm going to show you guys um just quickly uh so red roses and then we have the other ones this is the mixed roses and i want to show you guys this came up with like a greenish uh, orangey tone for the silk which in my opinion really nice the cotton absorbed it in like an orangey tone as well i found that really nice also because these are very light fabrics you probably won't be able to make something like a coat out of this but uh you can definitely make spring summer collections and it is a start better than nothing in my opinion so that's the roses the other type of flower the clear name i don't remember how to say that name they actually gave me the most wonderful results so they gave me these nice uh yellow like bright yellow tones which i'm very extremely happy about so one of them was orange flowers the other one was the yellow flowers and these were the red ones so the ones that had um red uh just completely red uh petals and the ones that had the um the yellow bits at the end anyway so these came out really nicely the silk came out super yellow i'll show you guys one of them so this is definitely a flower to think about and to use in the future um make sure that you guys let me know if you have any more ideas of what i could use to dye fabric with so this is just flowers we can experiment with plants and other things in the future uh look at how yellow this is this is like neon yellow oh my gosh can you see that that's really nice i really really like it i'm so happy with the results so all of these uh, flowers the clear little family flowers they came out super nice um what else the tulips came out like nothing so as we guys can see from this test tulips give us the same color that we started with so don't use tulips tulips i'm not even going to open it because they're all just white uh another one which i found interesting was the eucalyptus like the plant i don't know if you guys remember i'll put a picture up on the screen right now of what it looked like uh this plant gave it stank so bad when i was doing this but it gave me like a sort of orangey uh tone to the fabric and the silk absorbed it nicely and even some of the plastic uh mix even some of the mixes have some color so very happy with that very nice very nice um and the cotton absorbed it too i don't know if you guys can see definitely all the colors are quite muted colors but they are still absorbing some color which is very good and it definitely means that there's potential to this process there's obviously things that we can adjust in the dyeing process that can maybe affect it and make it better or make it worse another one i wanted to touch upon is one the lily flowers gave us nothing just like the um the tulips so don't use that 
and the other green leaf things that we had gave us absolutely basically i mean give us slight color but barely any so all three of these don't use those um it also i just thought of something the quantity of flour the ratio of flour to um water might also affect um how much color we have extracted and how potent that color is so one thing i want to show you guys the the flowers the high something flowers the ones that i used in gardens that i showed you guys that I literally just picked from my garden on that day before they were dying already uh they gave they gave the silk a orangey color and they gave the rest of the fabrics a more uh yellowy color so let's just uh, put that there and then the ones that were purple color i don't know if it was because we barely had any samples but it barely gave me any color maybe with more flowers it would give me a better one so yeah guys that is basically the end of the video and um as i said link in the description for you guys to see this much more clearly and comparison for different fabrics and different things i will give you guys the process i'll give you guys the names of all the flowers and you guys will have all the information for you to see so yeah guys i hope you guys enjoyed make sure you subscribe make sure you like the video comment below any more ideas and that's pretty much it i hope you guys have a beautiful day and i'll see you guys next time bye